Hi everyone, this is Mom Jovi. In this video, I am going to show you the expected output of your second performance task. This is the expected output for performance task number two. Uh, to display the line total, what you're going to do, guys, is to multiply quantity times unit price. Okay? So you're going to create only one formula. Okay, what's the um, symbol that you're going to use? As there is. Again, as I mentioned in my previous video, you are going to use the cell reference. Okay, what is the cell reference of 5? And then what is the cell reference of 500? Okay, once you are done creating the, the formula, you're going only to create once. And then uh, you are going to use the autofill auto feature of Excel to propagate the formula. I uploaded a separate video discussing the autofill function of Excel. Watch it. Okay, next. To get the subtotal, so what you're going, what operation you're going to use, it's addition. You just add the value starting from 2,500 up to uh, the last cell that is used on this invoice is I I41. So starting from I23 up to I41. Okay, you get the sum. Next, to compute the sales stocks, this one may vary. It depends on the input. Look at this. If I one one encoded one and then one percent of sixty one thousand seven hundred fifty. If I encoded five, okay. If I encoded ten, so how are you going to do this? I'll be using the calculator. Just the cal Let's grab the calculator. So sixty one thousand seven hundred fifty times, okay. 10%, that's 0.10, right? Because 10 divided by 100. So, 0.1 times 0.1. Okay. So, let's try to change the value. Let's say 2%. Okay. So, what's 2% of 61,750? Let's grab again the calculator to check if the formula I use is correct. So, 61,750 times. Okay. So, you need to divide. 2 divided by 100 is 0 0.02, right? So, times 0 0.02 is equal to 1,235. So, the formula is correct. Next. So, to get the total amount, guys, what you're going to do is to get the sum of subtotal plus sales tax. Again, use the cell reference of 61,750 61, plus the cell reference of 1,235, right? To display the total amount. Next. For the amount tendered, this is the ano. Just to demonstrate how you are going to, let's say, so that you can use rather the subtraction feature and the if feature, I added this. Okay? So, amount tendered. Ibig sabihin, pag nagbay, may nangyari, nagbayad, susuklian. So, I, I had tendered uh, 50,000. Sasabihin niya, kulang naman. Your, your, your money is insufficient. You can compute because it's less than the total amount that you're going to pay. Okay, however, if uh, my mind is 65,000, of course, the chains must appear. Yun, like display yung sokle. So, to display this, you're going to use if statement, right? So, I created a separate video on how you're going to create, uh, on how you're going to use rather if condition. You need to watch it, okay? So, ito po, pagbababaan ulit natin. Let's see, nabigay ko lang pala 45. 
So, sabihin niya insufficient. Kano lang. Okay? So, this one, the equal sign, uh, I use equal sign here to get the exact amount here. No? Para kung ano yung nandito, yun din yung mag a -appear. Let's see, I modify this, guys. Let's see, isa lang to. Isa lang na hard disk drive. Ayan. And then, I scroll it down. O, oh, yun lang siya. Nagbago. Alright? No? Bawasan natin tong printer. Dalawa lang. Ayan. Ayan. It automatically computes. Then, kung ano yung volume nito is same as this. Using the equal sign. Okay. I hope you understand. If ever you have some question regarding this uh, performance test, what you're going to do, guys, is to message, send a message in our group chat. Thank you for watching.